Alright, so John Dode I just released a new model called John version 1H and this is basically the compressed version of John version 1. And even though it is compressed, it is actually still very very good. Like in this simple QI benchmark, it is scoring 83% and it is not far behind Proplexity Pro with 90%. And what's great about this model is that not only that it is high performance and very efficient, it does support MCP. So in theory, you could download this model and then run it locally on your computer, but you can set it up so it is able to access Google and give you the latest or the most relevant information. So it is a local AI, but it is able to access the internet. And for that, we are going to use something called MCB server. So in this video, I'll show you how you can use an MCB server to make JAN models, whether it is JAN version 1, JAN version 1H, or the uh, JAN Nano or the Lucy model, to be able to access the internet using a simple setting. So here's how you can do it. And don't worry, it is very, very easy. You don't have to pay for anything. And I'll show you all the process all the way until you can set the model to be operated on your computer. And then it is able to, uh, you know, go to Google and search for information. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you have to navigate to john.ai and you have to download the software and install this tool on your computer. Obviously, this is going to be the first step. And after that, you can install the program and then you can run it on your computer. So this is what john.ai look like. Now, uh, we have to install a new model. If you have a model available on your uh, john.ai app, then you can skip this process, but I'll assume that you don't have the model yet on your computer. And to install a new model, you can click the hub menu right here. And here, uh, given that the latest model was john version 1H, I guess I'm going to be using that model for this demonstration. So here, I'm going to type john and then version 1 and then H. There you go. So there are some options, like there is the one that was created by the official John HQ account, but you can also see some options from uh, other communities or other users that are uh, distilling the model the same way like John H HQ distilling the John version 1 model. It is up to you where you want to get it, but I do recommend to use or download the one from John.HQ. Sorry, John HQ. So here, I guess I'm going to select this option. And uh, there are some variants, like there is the 4-bit quantization, 5-bit, 6-bit, and 8-bit quantization. So usually the 8-bit quantization is going to be a lot higher, a lot more uh, demanding than the Q4. So if you have a very, very low-end computer, then you can use the lowest model. And in this case, I'll use that model, and, and not to mention it is also very small, only one gigabyte. But again, it is able to use MCP so it can search content on the internet. I'm going to click download and just wait for it to be downloaded. And then later I'll show you how you can set it up so it can use Google to browse the internet. And I'll just keep a while and show you the next step. All right, so the model has been downloaded. You can click the use button to start chatting with this uh, model completely offline and local. But right now it is not yet able to use MCP servers to be able to use Google and then give you the latest information. Now, to set it up, it is actually quite simple. Just go to settings. And then if you're using the previous version, the older version of John.ai app, you have to go to general and then under advanced section, you have to enable a setting or an option called experimental features. Now that is very necessary so you can see a menu called MCP servers. But I guess right now I'm using the latest version of this program and that's why I don't see that option anymore. I guess it is enabled by default now. Now, just go to MCP servers. And then here we have some options that are recommended or available in john.ai. And the one that I want to use is server. So this is an MCP server called server. Yeah, that's a very interesting name. And it is actually free. It is easy to use. It is fast. It is not technically free. It is a freebie model, but it is giving you 2,500 credits for free and after that you might have to pay but that's a lot of credits and to get the credit you have to create a free account on server.dev and you can create a free account and then get this 2500 credits now i'm going to sign into my account and i will acquire my api key just go to api keys 
and click the copy button. Now let's go back to the jan.ai app and on server, you want to click this pencil icon. And for a setting, you don't have to touch anything because everything is actually quite correct. Now, for the API key, you want to paste it right here. And by the way, make sure that you keep the API key private. You don't want to share it to anyone because it is belong to your account. I'm going to just paste the API key right here. Okay, now click save. And the MCP is now activated or enabled. Now, before we start using the AI model, I do recommend to go to the top, scroll to the top, and allow all MCP tools permission so you don't have to manually click accept every time an AI model wants to use an MCP tool. Now let's go back and I'm going to create a new chat. And now I'm using, let's say, John version 1H Q4. That's the one that I just downloaded to my computer. Just wait, and there it goes. So as you can see, it is able to use server. And let's say I want to do some quick test. What is the current stock price of NVIDIA? Just send a message and you'll see it is gonna be using the MCP server. It might take quite a while because it is a thinking model and also it has to call the MCP server and then use Google and then give you the answer. Okay, so we are still waiting and yeah, this is the process. That's why it might take what some time. And there you go. So this is the answer. The current stock price is $177 based on the latest available data. Now just, I'm going to use browser and I'll ask the same thing. Uh, current stock price, let's say Nvidia stock price. Let's see if it is actually matching the number from the MCP. There you go. So it is exactly right. And we just got an AI model, a local AI model that is able to use internet to give you the latest data. So it's pretty amazing. And of course, if you want to keep track of the usage of your API key, you can log into your server.dev account and then see your usage. And if you are running out of credits, you can always top up and it's actually very, very affordable. So that's basically how you can use jan.ai to make it able to use Google and then browse the web and then give you the most up-to-date, the most relevant information. And of course, this is free, this is privacy friendly, and it is very, very easy to use. So uh, I guess that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.